Hi everyone, this is Finale Galea, Miss World Kenya 2018 and this is The Sauce. Have you ever heard the name Finale before? That's me. I'm as unique as my name. I come once in a lifetime and uh, my name has no meaning so it is my life's purpose to give meaning to my name. I started modeling about seven years ago and um, I started off as a hobby and it's, it's taken me to a whole different level today. Well, it's anything but glamorous. Um, every day I have trainings from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., gym, dance sessions, catwalk, everything. Because at the end of the day, we are preparing for Miss World. And Miss World is a very prestigious title. It's something that needs hard work and it's something that you have to give you 100% to. I'm super focused, so I've given a pause to my studying right now and I'm like, I'm gonna continue probably when I'm back. Though I don't expect to come back, please pray for me that I come home with the crown. So I leave for China on Friday this week, the 9th of November, and the finale, the Miss World competition finale is on the 8th of December. But for this month long competition, I need your support. Yours too, Scarlett. I need all of you to go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Mobstar. Mobstar is the application you can download for free from Play Store. Your follows and likes mean votes for me. They mean votes for Kenya because I am, at the end of the day, going there as Kenya. There are two stages in this competition. There's the head-to-head -head challenge and multimedia. So I expect all your votes and all your love and support. Please also do pray for me and let's bring this crown home. It is a big responsibility because both Magdalene and Evelyn were Miss World Africa. So I hope to at least reach their level, but I do hope, I do hope and pray that I am able to bring home the crown this year. Well, I don't see a difference because being born and brought up in Kenya, I believe Kenyans, at the end of the day, we are all one. There is no special treatment I get or there is no um, worse treatment I get because of my origins or because of a certain um, religion or ethnicity I come from. In fact, I, I don't even believe in the, the, the uh, you know, being the 44th tribe because I believe as tribes we should stop dividing each other and come together as one and come together as Kenyans. Yes. Well, I have been working with an NGO called Sowa Foundation for the past two and a half years. And so for me, the Beauty with a Purpose project became something that I was working on before I joined the Miss World Kenya. Um, my project, personally, I have named Hapana, the right to say no. Um, we are trying to urge women and men, and I believe everybody, to start saying no to the practice of video cleansing. Video cleansing is a practice that happens in Western Kenya. Um, it is a practice whereby a woman is forced to sleep with another man in the pretext of getting cleaned or having the evil spirit of her husband or a lot of um, biased, a lot of biased things happening to her whereby if she refuses, her inheritance is taken away. Her and her children are left homeless and you know, shunned from a village where she might have grown up in. And we are trying to stop it, we are trying to get women to do more with their own lives and to make them independent such that even if they say no to the practice and such events do happen, they are able to stand on their own feet, earn their own income and feed their own children because many of these women succumb to this practice for their children. In fact, Capital FM has also joined hands with us and they're going to be helping these women uh, when they want to talk about depression. The new pageantry has given me a platform to be able to voice my opinion, to be able to say things. I mean, how often do you take a 20-year-old or a 20-something-year-old seriously? What pageants do for me is they give me a platform, they give a title in front of my name, which makes people listen. There are so many people I want to help and it wouldn't be possible for a 20-something to be able to do something without a pageant like this, yeah. super close to my mom, my brother and my sister and they've been extremely, extremely supportive the whole time. My mom's here in fact right now as well and I think um, there's so little you can do without support or without having somebody at your back telling you, no, 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 you can do this. 
every time you're like, no, I think I want to give up. You know, there's somebody there like, no, 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 just a little more. I want to leave behind a legacy whereby the next finale knows the responsibility that comes with her name. She knows that being finale means you have to be kind, you have to be compassionate, you have to be responsible, and above all, you have to be giving. Because I believe many of us come into this world expecting the world to give us, demanding that the world owes us things. But there are very few of us who come into this world and say, I'm going to leave behind something for the others. I'm going to leave behind something for those who have come here before me, those who are going to be here after me. And I want to do that. I want to leave behind something much greater than myself. The biggest advice I want to give you is work hard. There is nothing that comes easy. There is nothing that will fall into your arms or your palms. You can be anything you want. You can be the next Miss World. You can be a doctor, you can be an engineer. You can be anything you want. All that you need to do is put in hard work. Thank you.